So you've got your campsite booked, you've got everything loaded up, you've hit the road, and now you've reached your campsite. There's a lot of different things that you need to think about and do once you reach your campsite. Uh, we're gonna give you some helpful tips and tricks today to help you have a first successful trip at the campsite. So let's get to it so you can get to enjoying your weekend. So when you're pulling into a new campsite, you wanna be sure to try to get there before dark. This is for one of three reasons. The first reason is so that you can check into the campsite in the office and get all the rules and regulations of the campgrounds itself. The other reason is you wanna be courteous to your neighbors at the campground so that you're not setting your whole rig up at night while they're trying to hang out with their friends and family. And the third reason being that it's gonna be really difficult to set your rig up at night when you can't see very well and you have to level your whole camper. Next thing you're gonna do is set up your camper. What most people will do is they will start by leveling their camper, then open up your slides then connect your water, electric, and sewer. Then you want to turn on your propane and test out all your propane appliances and then relax. Now, one change that I make is that I typically will connect my power before opening the slide so that I'm using the shore power to open them instead of my battery. Now, some campsite etiquette that you need to practice is that you need to respect quiet hours, clean up after yourself, practice good dump station etiquette too. Um, that means cleaning up after yourself if you make a mess or not holding up the line. Um, you also want to stay on your campsite and you want to supervise your kids and your pets. So you're getting ready to dump your tanks for the first time. Now this can be a really dreaded process but it doesn't have to be that painful if you do the correct steps. Um, the first thing you want to keep in mind is you never want to use a freshwater hose to rinse out your black tank or your sewer hoses themselves um, because you risk contaminating the hose itself so you will have contaminated water inside your camper. The other thing is, is you want to be sure that your black and gray water valves are closed before you take that cap off of the sewer hoses. Now another tip regarding your black and gray tanks is you don't want to dump your black tanks until they're two thirds full because the tank is gravity fed and that's how it gets rid of all the waste on the inside. Um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind when thinking about that is that you don't want the tank to be empty when you go to the bathroom in the, uh, in the bathroom for the first time because the stuff's going to start to pile up inside your black tank. Now when the weekend's over and you're ready to pack up your campsite, along with packing up your chairs, your rugs and any other campsite accessories that you might have, you don't wanna to forget to put your awning properly back in for safe road travel. You wanna put your slides back in and you wanna clean up all the sewer, water and electric um, accessories that you have on the other side. Well guys, we're all packed up and ready to hit the road. Hopefully some of these helpful tips were able to help you on your first time at a campground. If you have any questions or comments, please see the comments below and we'll see you next time.